Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we will discuss the anatomy of scapula. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Starting with the general features. Scapula is also known as the shoulder blade. It articulates with the humerus to form the glenohumeral joint and with the clavicle to form the acromioclavicular joint. So this is the humerus. And these bones shaded in the red are the scapulae. The scapula has two surfaces, costal and posterior. Three borders, superior, lateral and medial. Three angles, superior, inferior and lateral. And three processes, spine, acromion and the coracoid process. We will discuss each of these parts separately and see what all anatomical features they possess. Starting with the surfaces of scapula. The costal surface is concave and is directed medially and forwards. This surface bears the subscapular fossa. Let's have a look. This is the anterior view of the scapula. And this is the costal surface facing the ribs. This depression which you can see is the subscapular fossa. The posterior surface gives attachment to the spine of scapula. It is a triangular plate of bone which divides the posterior surface into two parts, the supraspinous fossa and the infraspinous fossa. Supraspinous fossa is smaller as compared to the infraspinous fossa. Let's have a look. This is the posterior view of the bone. This prominence is the spine of the scapula. And as you can see, it divides the posterior surface into this supraspinous fossa and the infraspinous fossa. Coming to the second part, that are the borders of scapula. As we discussed earlier, there are three borders of scapula, which are traced here in this image. This is the superior border, which continues to this medial border, which further continues to this lateral border. Third part of scapula are the angles. This is the superior angle. This is the inferior angle. And this broad angle is the lateral angle. Coming to the last part, that are the processes of scapula. This is the acromion process, which continues with the lateral end of the spine of scapula. The medial of this acromion process has the clavicular facet, which articulates with the clavicle to form the acromioclavicular joint. And the third process is the coracoid process. It is a hook-like projection, which lies just underneath the clavicle. Lastly, the lateral angle bears the glenoid cavity, which articulates with the head of humerus to form the glenohumeral joint. Just below the glenoid cavity is the infraglenoid tubercle, which gives attachment to the long head of triceps brachii. And just above the glenoid cavity is the supraglenoid tubercle, which gives attachment to the long head of biceps brachii. With this, we complete the anatomy of scapula. So that is it for this video guys, don't forget to subscribe the channel and follow us on Instagram. Links in the description.